Okay, I'm sitting here with Malik Neighbors. Three seconds out of practice, he ran up here, but you were intercepted by a young Malik Neighbors LSU throwback jersey, and it was Brian Dable's son yeah. rocking that. What is that like? What is that like? Um, it's so real, you know, to come out here, um, to still have my jersey being wearing, especially by my head coach's son. Um, you know, it shows it shows how much I impact the kids, impact the youth. So. To see that, you know, is inspirational. This is a marquee organization. The Giants are celebrating their 100th year as an NFL team. There's so much history here. Yeah. Have you felt the sense of belonging that rookies are longing to feel? Uh, for sure. You know, when I come out here every day, you know, fans screaming my name. Um, after practice, you know, going up to the kids, you know, them screaming my name. I'm um, so happy to see me, so happy uh, for me to come up to them and uh, actually see me in person. So, you know, it's so real um, being out here. I love that. You know, we, there's insane highlights with these yeah. grabs that you're making. Congratulations. I, I don't even know if you're going to have your welcome to the NFL moment because you're crushing it. Uh, I've seen you with the bowling. I've seen you with the Morgan Wallen on TikTok <laughs> stuff. You're good at everything, seemingly. Is there anything yeah. you're bad at, Malik Neighbors? Uh, I'll probably say ping pong. I'm, I'm, I'm working <laughs> on it, though. We'll be, we be playing ping pong in the locker room. Yeah. I got to get my uh, – I got to get up on ping pong. So, yeah, that's – I'm trying to get good at that. That's the only thing I'm bad at, though. Give me the power rankings. Who's who's the leader in the, the clubhouse right, right now? The leader right now in the receiver room is Slay. Yeah. Um, then it's Hyatt, then Gunner. Um, I'm all the way at the bottom because I just started <laughs> two weeks ago. But wait up. I got my own I got my own uh, ping pong uh, table coming in, so I'm going to be practicing. I bet you are. I, I saw you down in Frisco, Texas, just putting in the work. It yeah. was 197 degrees <laughs> out there, and I could barely no, talk, and you were out there running routes trying to work on your game. It's translated to the practice field, and then I'm, like, getting my popcorn and my Mike and Ikes, and I'm sitting watching this preseason action. You didn't get one look your way. No targets. Were they trying to keep you a secret? <laughs> uh, I mean, you could say that, you know, just to get me out there um, in a – in an NFL game situation, but, you know, that's how things are going to go sometimes, you know. Um, they might have three other people running four, you know, sometimes five receivers running routes, you know. You can't get the ball every time, but, um, you know, as long as I can put wins on tape, that's really it. Uh, you have lots on tape here between you and Daniel Jones. I hear he's getting some starting reps in the second yeah. preseason game, so I feel like he's going to feed you. I think every target might be going your way. What is the secret, not the secret, but what went into the chemistry that you clearly have with him already? Um, you know, I just, you know, put a lot of confidence in him. Um, you know, I told him, you know, every ball don't got to be a, you know, a great ball. Just put it around me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm good of enough player to, you know, adjust my body or go get the ball. Um, wherever it is that just put it, the, put the ball around me, you know, I'm going to make this spectacular catch. You know, that Malik Neighbors uh, LSU jersey just makes me think of uh, several years ago when it was the Odell Beckham Jr. LSU jerseys that everyone was wearing out here yeah. at practice, the comparisons have always been there for you, and they sort of follow you here. What is that like? Um, bro, it's so real because, you know, I'll probably say nine, ten years ago when I was, you know, young, when I was a kid, you know, I was watching him, you know, come out here in preseason, making those catches, um, you know, doing the spectacular things that he was doing when he got, came into the league. And uh, for me to be right here at the same spot that he was at, um, able to impact so many people, um, it's so real. You know, it shows you know how hard work and dedication actually pays off. Does he reach out to you? Have you had any communication from Odell? What's the relationship? Um, you know, it's a pretty good relationship. Good. Um, you know, he reached out um, a couple of times just to make sure you know um, my head was on straight. Um, you know, time to go get it now. I'm here now. Um, he actually sent me a text message when I was like 12, 11 years old. I had sent him a text message. Um, what? I sent him a text message. I was like, my hands, my hands too big to fit gloves because they only, they only would put so many gloves in the academy, but I couldn't fit them because my hands was too big. So I reached out to him because I heard he had big hands. And I was like, bro, I need some gloves, this and that, this and that. But I was a young kid with like How did you have Odell's followers. phone number when you were 11? No, I had texted him on, uh, on Instagram. Oh, okay. You DM'd him. Got yeah, it. Yeah, I did him. And then and after he wrote that, back? Uh, nah. <laughs> on the draft he did, he was like, looks like you don't need those gloves no more. <gasps> he was like, you, you here now. So that was, that was my... That was a so real moment that I had with Odell. That is amazing. And now you're here here with Daniel Jones. We have this issue with your jersey. Okay, you're wearing this. It's number <laughs> nine, right? Now this yeah. this is not your jersey number. It can't be because Graham Gano, right, right, wears this number. He offered to sell it to you. You said, nah. <laughs> Giants fans need to know what the jersey number is going to be. I don't know, guys. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. We, we still trying to. 
I'm still thinking it through, still trying to see what's jersey number. You're that lying. Good There's no me. way you don't, you don't. You don't know? No, nah, I don't You wore know. eight at LSU. Daniel Jones has that. You wore 13 in high school. Jalen Hyatt has that. We do our jersey research here on the program. <laughs> His Twitter handle still has 13 in it. Uh, maybe you make a deal with Hyatt. How's that going? Uh, no, nah, no deal with Hyatt. I know Hyatt number is 11, but that number's retired. So, um, like I said, it's, it's no numbers that, you know, I got in mind yet, but... I'm sure I was going to come to a closing sooner or later. I mean, I just hope you don't have to play a game of ping pong for it because I just don't feel like you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you I ain't going to win that game with Hyatt. I ain't going to win that game. <laughs> <laughs> um, Deontay Banks, last year's uh, big high prize pick. You and him are iron sharpens iron out right. there. What has he taught you that has made you better already? Um, I wouldn't say it's really iron versus iron. I would say it's, you know, greatness versus greatness. Um, you know, every time me and him on the field, um, he wants to be the best. I want to be the best for sure. Um, you know, we, me and him watch film together or we talk about reps after practice. So just to better, you know, better me and his game, you know, if I can give him a look every day going hard at practice. And I know he's going to give me the same because he's going to give me the reps I need to go, you know, against the defenders that I'm going to face in, you know, all through the weeks. But yeah, um, to have him as, you know, a friend and also a competitor, you know, is only boosting my confidence. It's not like, I mean, you're a rookie, but it's not like you haven't faced the top competition at corner <laughs> your entire career right. you against stingley you against terry and arnold where does banks stack up as far as corners go um i don't have him you know rank anywhere but you know he's a high a high profile player you know a good db you know he wants to be the best at what he does you know his work ethic is tremendous um you know as long as me and him keep going you know going against each other you know sky's the limit for him for sure I was with the Commanders. Obviously, it's a rival for you now. But Jaden yeah. had his debut yesterday. Yeah. He is like, they're trying to keep him a secret. Everyone's like, no, he's good. He's fine. And then I'm watching him out there. Like, my jaw is on the ground. He made his debut yesterday. Yeah. It was like a thing of beauty. What did you make of those highlights? I know you saw him. Oh, uh, I did. You know, he, had, <laughs> uh, he called me. I really didn't know he was playing. But he called me. He was like, why you didn't come to my game? I was like, I really didn't know he was playing. But, you know, I got to watch it. Um, you know, his, you know. Uh, it's what I expected from him. Uh, you know, I expect more out of him because I know what he can do. I know what he's capable of, but he's just scratching the surface. You know, I have, you know, I have none, but you know, no doubt in my mind that he's going to be the Jaden that you know everybody thinks he's going to be. You know, he's a tremendous athlete, a great leader, a great player, and a you know a, a best friend to me. So you know, sky's the limit for him for sure. He goes out there and and does his thing. You go out there. You didn't get a target, but I was watching the whole thing, and you were open <laughs> quite a lot. What does that do to you as a player? Um, it just, again, you know, boosts confidence, you know, shows my coaches that, you know, I can get open. So, you know, as long as I, like I said, to put wins on tape, um, it shows that, you know, Malik is always, I guess, going to be open. You know, we can throw him the ball at any any point of the game. But, you know, it's just, it's place to be made all over the field. You know, whether I don't get the ball, whether I make the huge blocks down the field for my running backs, that's all it cares. It's a, it's a team effort sport. My goodness. Uh, you are a you are a quarterback's dream, I feel <laughs> like, just the way you're talking, your humility, yeah. you sort of understanding that the ball will come to you eventually. I think it's great. You have Jaden week two. You're saying you're best friends with him. That can't be right. Who's who's talking more trash? When does this friendship end? How does it go during the season? <laughs> Tell me. Uh, when we, the, day, the day we meet, um, he said we're not talking pregame. <laughs> he said we're just going to stay on our sides, and I, I like that. Um, you know, it's, it's all smoke when it comes to that game. But, you know, he trash talk all the time. You know, he calls me every, almost every day and be like, you know, we're going to beat y'all. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, but, you know, we two. We two coming. <laughs> I'm going to set it straight. I'm going to set it straight. Wow, I can't wait to see that. Daniel Jones to you up against Jaden in week two. And I will say this last one. I saw a clip of you this spring, and you mm -hmm. said, quote, quarterback in a receiver's body, okay, that you could sling the ball all over the place. Have you worked with Dable, who clearly wanted you in the building? He, like, welcomed you to my show up here. Yeah. He talked about <laughs> it on Hard Knocks. He wanted you. Have you talked to him about drawing up some trick plays? Um, No, not yet, but I'm no. sure, you know, I heard – I didn't see in a couple of clips where he didn't, you know, did some chick plays in, but he never, he never really discussed it with me any yet. We need a, we need a while. Yeah, everybody say hi to my like neighbors. Let's go. Thank you. Don't you want to see him in a yeah. while? Don't